Welcome to Own or Disown. And uh, for um, any uh, users uh, of a tablet, uh, Windows tablet PC or laptop PC with uh, integrated graphics, um, there is a good method of uh, uh, getting some extra free performance. Um, if you normally, if you click on the power options, you normally just have the uh, the balanced profile available to you, which uh, is a, can be a bit disappointing. Um, so you can unlock uh, the high performance uh, profile, um, which you're normally used to seeing on a laptop, and that uh, of course allows the CPU to uh, to uh, maintain up to to its boost levels. Um, it's turbo levels, uh, you know, obviously within its thermal p p parameters. Um, so we'll show you how to do that. To, you have to go into the registry, so you've got to be use, uh, comfortable with doing that. Um, and I will also, for those with um, the Surface Book, with a dedicated uh, 940M graphics card in, um, show you how to overclock that as well um, to uh, give a bit more performance. So. Um, first off, let's have a look at uh, how we get this uh, high performance in. So, you um, you've got to go and type in uh, regedit. Okay, and you run it. You can uh, navigate to the uh, the field I'm looking for, or you can uh, just type in. I'm oh, sorry, now you can now just go up to edit and find and type in C S enabled like that. And it'll uh, it'll find it. it. Takes a bit of time, but uh, it will then find it. It'll search it all, or you can navigate it uh, the, the, the normal way. You know, so local machine um, system, and then you go to control set. Where is that? Yeah, control set. Uh, Double one control, then go down to power, and uh, and there it is. So searching for it the same way by doing find CS enabled will bring you to here the same way. And once you're there, right click on it, uh, click modify, and change the value to uh, to zero, and then you can close it out. And uh, you should start to see uh, the high performance. Uh, there you may have to perhaps even do a reboot and uh, then it'll be there so um, that's how you do that um, if you've got the dedicated graphics in the surface book for instance you can then uh, overclock that so first off I recommend that you go and uh, install GPU Z by a tech uh, on the tech power up website So if you go to techpowerup.com and or even just Google GPU Z or Z, and it'll show it. It's good. It shows you all the uh, you know the shaders and all the details on your graphics card. You can go to the integrated one, the dedicated graphics card, and you can see the uh, the clocks. The default clock is 954 megahertz. The memory is uh, 1253, and it shows you uh, the boost clocks too because of course it boosts up to a certain level and that's what you that's what you got and if you don't change anything that's what you're stuck with um, so uh, there's a number of different utilities out there and uh, one that uh, I like to use is by uh, MSI and that's called MSI afterburner okay and uh, you can bring that up And this is what you'll be greeted with first. So, um, you know, I, I just you can go into this. It's very good. It's very configurable. You can uh, unlock voltage control, although that doesn't set to work on this GPU here. But in many uh, graphics cards, you know, you can do that and you can uh, then tweak the voltage if you need to do it higher. But I wouldn't recommend uh, doing that on this uh, mobile solution here. And then uh, you've got the, on, uh, the monitoring, which shows you on... Uh, What's on screen display? You can configure all of this. It's a GPU temperature. Um, you can, I've got the, the memory clock, the frame rate. So, all that's quite useful stuff. So, uh, come out of that. And uh, 
you then you can also create profiles once you've uh, you've done it. So basically, you um, fire up, uh, say, uh, the heaven benchmark. That's quite a, quite a taxing one, and it's uh, something you can you can do on the fly and keep altering things. I recommend you uh, run it windowed, so not full screen, so you can then still see everything that you have here. You um, you then run it. So. You can see I've got everything set as normal. It's running in the background. You got the, uh, the temperature. It's 40 degrees Celsius. It shows you on the graph there. And yeah, that uh, that's quite that's quite good. So then what you do is then you just gradually increase the core clock like that. Click apply. Just keep doing it. Make sure you don't see any artifacts or any anything going wrong. And you keep doing that until you. Until you, 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 either the temperature's too high, which I'd say, uh, you know, anything below 80 is probably fine. I always like to try and keep it even below that, really, uh, say 70 and below. And uh, once you've done that, then you, you do the same with the memory clock, gradually increasing it, clicking apply, waiting a bit, make sure it's okay, keep increasing it step by step. And then you can uh, create a profile once you've got that. I've created a profile here whereby I increased my core clock to the maximum. I mean, it couldn't go any further. Um, so I increased it by 135 uh, megahertz. And uh, the memory clock, I uh, increased it by uh, 726 megahertz. So that's good. So if I do that and I click apply now to load that profile up, you'll then see the GPU uh, Z reported that it's now from 954 to 1089. The memory up to 1616. Of course, you 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 double that to give uh, the effective 3,232 megahertz memory, and, uh, and you can see the boost also quite uh, quite largely increased. And uh, I did uh, go a bit higher than this, but then uh, I, it started to to crash, so I just backed it down a little bit. I mean, it's a it's a low end GPU, so you, you're not going to get any super breakneck performance out of it, but you know, basically that's a 14% a increase on the core clock and a 29% on the memory. And that is going to help. So um, I will do some uh, gaming tests to see how that, uh, you know, what in real life, what can you expect? I'll do a gaming test of uh, um, having this over graphics overclocked um, with um, the high performance. Uh, I showed you for the high performance on the CPU. Um, also... Um, high performance alone and also just balanced um the balance profile there um, with no overclock so and i'll be doing that for all my surface boot gear videos so um so without further ado then we'll let look at the next videos and see how uh, how we get on